welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome today i am going to be attempting something that i have not done with my hair for over three years i am going to be doing a wash and go i have had quite a few people mention it to me and i thought it was time long overdue for me to actually attempt so I am washing my hair with the Tresemme shampoo. I shampooed twice and did a quick conditioner uh, in the shower for about five minutes, rinsed it out lightly, and now I am going to detangle and section my hair. I'm gonna work from one side to the next and I am going to do a center part down the middle of my head. I am doing this on Drenching wet hair. After I got out of the shower, I did not put my hair up in a towel to dry as I wanted to keep as much moisture in my hair as possible. So I am going to layer in these products. The first product I am using is the Cantu Daily Oil Moisturizer. Obviously, of course, I always start with that. Then I will put in a leave-in curling cream and then a little bit of my vegetable glycerin to seal in the product. I do not like hair gel and for this I do not want to use any hair gel in my hair to avoid drying out my curls. I am going to continue this process throughout my entire head applying each product one by one using my fingers to smooth and rake the product in and then following up with a hairbrush to remove any unnecessary tangles and further distribute the product. After I am done with the section, I will just throw it to the back of my head and move on trying to avoid touching my hair as much as possible once I am finished with a section. So I am not an expert in different curly hair types, but I would say my hair falls between 3B, 3C, 4A. It's not a lot of spiral corkscrew type of curls. It's mostly wavy, but there are portions of my head that do curl up and spring more than the others. I find that I get a lot of curl definition in the back compared to the front but because my hair is so long and heavy the curls do get weighed down so I obviously take that in consideration for my expectations on how this wash and go will turn out. I am also aware that because I am not using any gel or products with strong hold that the curls will eventually pop and then frizz out since there's nothing in the hair holding the curl shape and I am 100% okay with the hair getting a little bit frizzy as I am only going to be maintaining this style for a day or two and I hate when my hair is super crunchy from hair gel. I was not able to find my diffuser attachment for my hair dryer so I am stuck using my regular comb attachment to diffuse out my hair and get rid of some of the extra weight from my hair being heavy. It was about 10% dry when I started and when I was done diffusing after five minutes it was about 60 to 70% dry. This is what it looks like. I love the look of a wash and go at this stage. This is what my hair looks like a few hours later. I have not separated the curls or put my hair up. I've just let it hang and dry the rest of the way. It's about 90% dry. For my first attempt at a wash and go in a couple years, I would say this was not too bad. Definitely cute, will not last more than a day, but that is okay. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, let me know if you enjoy washing goes for the summertime. Peace out.